Hi, I'm Wendy Lois Sloan, and this is What's Up with Wendy. I began my career in New York City as a TV producer for talk show legends, and for the last decade, I've used these experiences to create my unique style in interviewing hundreds of A list celebrities, newsmakers, comedians, musicians, reality stars, fitness and nutrition experts, best selling authors, and more. Coming up is an episode featuring Jeannie Mai. TV host, fashion expert, co-host of the Emmy award-winning TV show, The Real, and 2020 Dancing with the Stars celebrity dancer. Jeannie Mai, I'm so excited to have you back again and so excited that you're going to be on Dancing with the Stars. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited slash nervous slash I want to throw up slash um, how do I hide? How do I hide for the next eight weeks? Oh my God, no, I'm going to be rooting for you for season 29. I can't believe it. I was so Thank excited you. to just hear that. How are they going to handle that with COVID? Well, it's, it's actually really, really well done. We take COVID tests twice a day and oh I'm only with my partner. So there's no camera crew. There's, there's nobody. I mean, literally we walk in and we, we, we rehearse. There's cameras already set up. Everything's done from afar. It's very social distance, but at the same time, you still get that magic of dancing with stars. This, this season's going to be different because you've got Tyra Banks, obviously, the following's going to be in action, but there's going to be no audience. So, yeah, it's going to be very different, but hey. Hey, the one well. One thing you can't miss out watching because you've got to still stay connected and you've got to help me vote for me. Oh my God, we're going to vote for you. Of course, we're going to. Who else would we vote for? My God. Um, it's so, no, it's really so exciting. It's such a great, it's such a great lineup. Um, so I'm excited. Do you know who your, I didn't know if you know, do you know who your partner is? I do know who my partner is. I can't tell you, but oh. um, if you follow me on Instagram, at the G my, you see a little sliver of him and, and, and if you can get from there, you know your dancers. Okay. I'm a fan of Vernon, Vernon Davis, so I have to say, cause he played at Maryland when my son goes to school, but I'll just say that. I like him, but Jeannie, you're you're my girl. Thank you, thank you, Wendy. I need you. Okay, you got me. Don't worry. And by the way, how tell us how have you been dealing with COVID, the pandemic, the yeah. quarantine, the lockdown? How has life been? Yeah, I know. Thank you for asking. I've been healthy and okay. First off, so I feel very blessed about that. But one thing that has come to mind is just being more efficient when it comes to saving money. You know, this is uncertain is a, one word to describe what's going on right now and so many of my friends family and even myself we just had to take a different look at our bills and figure out how to prioritize things because you don't know what's going to happen next yeah and when i looked at all my bills the one thing that i saw immediately that shocked me was my spending on my cell phone my cell phone plan and my cell phone itself was draining me more than the things that I shop for on a regular basis, which is crazy. Um, and so I realized that because my cell phone isn't essential, it's my tool to everything in life, there's no way I can get rid of it. But I can get rid of the extra charges and the crazy fees that are locked into cell phone plans. So I found Straight Talk Wireless, which is a no fees phone payment plan where you can get things like the Samsung Galaxy S20 for less than $60 a month. No contract and no deposit. That's, I mean, that's what we need to hear now is, is signing on to something that's solid. You're dealing with dependable networks all across America, but you're not locked down to a contract. You can always stay connected and not be broke. Isn't it amazing? I mean, there, there is, listen, we've been locked down for so long. We have to try to find every single way to cut costs um, and to save because exactly. we, we don't know what's next. That's exactly right. And when it comes to taking care of yourself, for me, the cell phone can, ha can oftentimes have a bad rep because, of course, it's so accessible. You can have access to negative things. But it's actually been a saving, uh, a saving grace for me, not only to stay connected with my friends and family and FaceTime, all of my beautiful little nephews and nieces, but it's also allowed me to take a really good look at what I inundate myself with on a daily basis. I had to clear out useless apps. I had to clear out, you know, my logarithm so that I wasn't getting inundated with gossipy news. And now I've got meditation apps on my phone. Now I've got smart ways to see my budget right in front of me to help me analyze, you know, my life and organize myself. So my phone has actually become something that has connected me to the outside world but helped me take, keep in line with how to stay positive in my own world here. Oh, it's so true. If you just tuned in, Emmy Award-winning TV personality and co-host of The Real and newest member of Dancing with the Stars Season 29, which I'm so excited, we're on with Jeannie Mai. 
Um, exciting to talk about the real beginning to air again. What's on the radar for the rest of the season? And how has that been going back to COVID? Yeah, well, we are not going to be shooting in studio. We're actually going to be shooting remote, which is kind of cool because I like peeking into everybody's houses and seeing how they live. Um, Lonnie, Adrian, and our new host, Garcelle Bouvet, are going to be joining remotely. The show will be on Fox. Every day we'll be there to join you on your couches at home, ladies. So don't scoot over. Don't forget about it. That's covered. <laughs> and it's going to be so much fun. We still have the games, the giveaways. We give away so much money every day. It's insane. And we also have great guests. I'm excited about our lineup of celebrities because I can promise you they're very juicy. Well, I can say, I have to say, Jeannie, I kind of like the remote from home. Because it just seems a little bit more, I mean, I like everybody, obviously, we could be in the studio, but doing it remote from home, you're right, you get to see people's backgrounds a little bit into their personality more so because they're home, and it's just like a whole different feeling, like we're all home. Absolutely. I've actually enjoyed it more so, and I think that we just have to make sure that we, even though we socially distance, we're not emotionally distant. So having a great cell phone, having great solid ways to connect with people, having a confidence about stuff. Don't feel so worried. If you have efficient ways to make sure that you're cutting back and saving money, you can feel good the rest of the way to stay connected with your friends and to get things kind of together. So do you think this is going to be the new way it's going to be, working from home, doing, doing, <laughs> you, you do, going forward? I do. I think this is our new norm for now. I, I think it's, for now, I say at least a year. I also think that we just need to be more cautious anyway in how we interact. I think we got a big lesson on germs and cleanliness. I mean, I, I went to, um, I think it was Costco um, one of the past weeks, and the men's restroom line was absurdly out the door. I'm like, oh, now you guys are washing your hands? I mean, I've, I've been to this Costco for like years, and I've never seen a line in the men's bathroom. And I was like, what have you guys been doing this whole time? That's gross. And now every single, <laughs> that's so funny, and now every single distributor, names you've never heard of, are making sanitizer. Everything. I mean, we're going to have a Steve Madden at sanitizer soon. It's I, so weird. That's so true. Isn't, oh my God, it's so crazy. But you know what? There's a lot of, I feel like to me, there's been a lot of good that's coming out of COVID. It's, it's made us slow down, smell the roses more. Be more careful, be more engaged, be more present. Do you agree? Yes, absolutely. And for those, it is hard out there for a lot of people who don't feel that they have somebody to connect with and don't feel that they have um, people to rely upon. And for those out there, I just want to really encourage you to find things that make you smile and relate to other people more. So even if it means watching Dancing with the Stars, the music, if it reminds, if it rekindles memories of, you know, a good time back then, go and call that friend up that brought you that great time. Go and um, cuddle up at home with any of your good friends or maybe somebody that you haven't seen for a long time and watch some of your favorite shows. It's okay to do that. You don't, we don't have to be so formal all the time with going out to dinner or making some, you know, expensive plans. Just saying to somebody, hey, you know, call them up on your smartphone and tell them I haven't seen you in a minute. Dancing with the Stars is coming on. My girl Jeannie is, is about to dance tonight. we got a vote I encourage her. So come and watch, and I'm going to bring out some, some popcorn. There's uh, money. Be I agree. I, I'm going to be rooting for you. And you have a new podcast. I do. I have a podcast called Listen, Honey. My <laughs> podcast is all about me. I want you to listen up about when it comes to how to have a more intimate life with your lover, how to have better sex without actually having sex, how to um, date again in this world, especially in this uh, virtual world of dating, how do you actually make it um, real and tangible. And it, it's just a great podcast of all the things that are my favorite uh, things to learn about and talk about. I love it. I love it so much because you're so, you're so, re I, I got to say, you're so real, like your show, but you're so relatable to everybody and so down to earth. How has wedding planning been, by the way? Congratulations. How has wedding planning been with, during COVID? Thank you. You know, I'm going to be sharing a lot of my wedding planning on my YouTube series. Hello, honey. <laughs> it's, um, H-U-N-N-A-Y, by the way. Hello, honey. And I realized that I need to organize and have the moment of each part of the planning. The flowers. I've never cared about flowers before, but I actually want to discover what flowers 
do mean a lot to me. The same way people are out here holding crystals and discovering which crystals relate to them. I need to figure out which flowers make me feel like this fragrance is going to remember this day for the rest of my life. The food, um, the venue, I want to enjoy this and I want to take my time with it. So definitely tune in to Hello Honey and you'll see all of my adventures finding my wedding. Oh my God, I absolutely will. So we just talked about Saving Formers with Straight Talk Wireless with Jenny Mai. And she's going to be on season 29 of Dancing with the Stars, so you won't want to miss that, and we'll all vote for you. And of course, um, we'll watch you on The Reel. And thank you for coming back again on my podcast. I always love having you. And um, good luck, and we'll be, we'll be watching. Thank you. See you guys later. Follow me at the Jeannie Mai, and don't forget to go to straighttalk.com. You got it. Thanks, Jeannie. Thanks for joining me for this episode of What's Up with Wendy. If you love this episode, Head over to iTunes or your favorite platform to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Please also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at What's Up With Wendy. And you can learn more about me and my podcast on my website, whatsupwithwendy.com. And remember, only you can make you happy.